If you're a serious Catholic who is concerned about the state of affairs in the church and you have a knack for the great outdoors, then please consider spending a fall vacation with churchmilitant.tv at the Flying Bee Ranch. The Flying Bee Ranch offers some of the most beautiful scenery west of the Mississippi. While being strengthened in the faith through a series of conferences from Michael Voris, you'll also have plenty of time to breathe that mountain air while horseback riding, fishing, or bird hunting. So please click the link to register today and we'll see you out there at the Flying Bee Ranch. Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. Following up on our theme from yesterday's Vortex about doing what we can to convert people to the faith, there seems to be some great confusion around the whole effort called the new evangelization. Indeed, one extremely well-known priest with his own internet site keeps spreading the somewhat false idea or mistaken idea that the new evangelization is about using the newest technology to spread the gospel. Not so much. Sorry, Father, it doesn't really have anything at all to do with the technology or the method. Of course, those are related, but they are not the reality which gives this new effort its name. Its name comes from Pope John Paul II, who was continuing with the idea begun even earlier by Pope Paul VI, who looked around the world and intuited the chaos that was sweeping down on the church. What Paul saw was the wave breaking over the wall. What John Paul saw was its aftermath and damage. That prompted John Paul to write in 1990 in his encyclical Redemptoris Missio the following. Number 33, there is an intermediate situation where entire groups of the baptized have lost a living sense of the faith or even no longer consider themselves members of the church and live a life far removed from Christ and his gospel. In this case, what is needed is a new evangelization or a re-evangelization, close quote. And there you have it, the practical genesis of the term new evangelization. It has nothing to do with the internet. Heck, there wasn't even an internet back in 1990 the way we think of it today. That was nearly 25 years ago. So when we think out a plan for instituting a so-called new evangelization, we need to bear in mind what was in the mind of the Holy Father when he presented the idea. It was then, and should be now, about bringing wayward Catholics back to the faith. It is not largely an effort aimed at Protestants or the unbaptized. Of course, the Church should always be evangelizing these groups, but what John Paul recognized that most of his predecessors had not have to deal with was the mass falling away from the faith of Catholics themselves, those who no longer consider themselves members of the church. This was John Paul's impetus behind the phrase, the new evangelization. These former Catholics need to be re-evangelized, or put another way, what they had once been told needs to be presented to them newly, presented to them again. The adjective new in new evangelization refers to a fresh start, a starting over with those who have already had some connection to the church, the previously baptized Catholic. The adjective new in the new evangelization does not refer to the new media. Those who keep smiling and saying it's about Facebook, Twitter, and the internet, they just don't get it. Certainly the new media should be employed in the evangelization effort, but the means is secondary. In evangelizing, there are three components, content, audience, and means. The content always stays the same. It is the deposit of faith. It is the gospel as it is presented to us through the magisterium of the Holy Catholic Church founded on Peter. The means is whatever you need or have at your disposal. Our blessed Lord used a boat or a mountaintop. Makes no difference. However, the audience is quite a different thing indeed. That varies tremendously in terms of its time and place in history and its relationship to the church. How St. Patrick, for example, approached the content of the faith with the pagan king, kings in terms of how he talked to them would be something far different than how he would today talk to fallen away Catholics. Simple fact, an audience of non-Catholics needs to hear an entirely different type of discussion about the faith 
than an audience of former Catholics. When John Paul spoke of the new evangelization effort that would be needed, he recognized that a new type of effort was needed because a new type of group had sprung up. The old evangelization was aimed at the nations, the unbaptized. That was the sole evangelization effort for the first thousand years or so of the church. Then with the Orthodox schism and the Protestant heresy, a new class emerged, and that has pretty much occupied the church's evangelization efforts for the last thousand years or so, particularly the Protestants in the last 500. But with the dawn of the 21st century, a whole new class needing a new evangelization has emerged, the class of apostate Catholic, nothing ever before seen in the life of the church in these numbers. The same pope who popularized the term new evangelization recognized that a whole new class has emerged, that he referred to it as a global apostasy. The trick is this, implementing the new evangelization while continuing the old one. God love you. I'm Michael Voris. Hi there, ChurchMilton.tv supporters. I'm Michael Voris. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. If you or someone you know is looking to sell or buy a home or a commercial property anywhere in the world, there's an amazing organization called Real Estate for Life that you should definitely check out. Real Estate for Life generously donates an average of $1,000 to ChurchMilton.tv every time a home sale closes. It's a great way to support us here at CMTV. And don't forget, this comes at absolutely no cost to you. So please call or email Real Estate for Life today. All the information you need is in the description box. Michael Voris along with Rebecca Hasenauer for churchmilton.tv. God love you.